Hey YouTube, what's going on? So, um, I have a little bit of an update with the whole fuse testing thing. I made a, a little setup that will stay as a complete unit so I don't have to tape wires down, I hope. So everything can be a little more consistent. And um, we figured out on the DIY Powerwall forums that I might have a little more voltage drop. So I did some tests, and when I was testing at the 3.3 volts, uh, whenever I'd get about the 10 amp range, I was actually down to about 2 volts. So I did the same test with um, the 5 volt rail, and at 10 amps, I think it was around 3.6 volts. So, so I'm going to start testing with that, with the 5 volt rail, and it'll account for any voltage drop during any, any new testing. Um, and if I do have some lower fuse amp wire, then I might still be able to use the regular 3 volt rail. So, yeah, I'm just trying to make everything consistent so we can all be on the same page. And if there's any more adjustments I need to make to my setup, uh, of course, please let me know. Besides getting a new actual power supply, because I, I just can't afford one of those. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you my setup here, and then I also laid out some different size of uh, bus bars that everybody or most people are using, and I will test with all of those as well. Okay, so let me show you my little um, setup here, and then I'll show you the wiring that I'll be testing with. And I think I'm only going to use uh, one bus bar instead of the two that I was using before. And the other side, I'm just going to use the alligator clip because, I mean, I was going to try to do something like this. Bus bar, fuse wire to the top of the cell, and then this is the dead cell. But I, this is going to be a pain in the ass, and it's kind of janky, so... What I'm going to do is just use one side as a bus bar and one side as the alligator clip and that should represent the top of a battery. And if it's not thick enough, if people are having a problem with it not having enough thermal mass, then I'll just put some magnets onto it to create thermal mass. That's probably as best as I can do right now. So anyway, let me show you what I got here. And then I'll show you the wiring and blah, blah, blah. So this is going to be the new setup. Okay, so whenever I am doing the actual testing, this will be roughly the view that you will see. I just glued one of these down to hold the bus bar in place. And of course, your fuse wire will be soldered here. And it's just going to go right over to the alligator clip. Uh, tried to get both voltage and amperage in there so we can see uh, exactly what voltage it's being tested at. Uh, of course the ground wire will come straight over to the power supply. Uh, up here I've got the shunt for the amp meter. All this up here is going to be roughly the same. I'll probably still have to use a nail so I can slide it along the edge here to vary the amperage. Um, of course I have the fan facing the opposite way so no air can go across the fuse to mess up any results. Uh, yeah, I mean it's all kind of roughly the same but I did use a little bit bigger wire for everything for less voltage drop. Yeah, so this is going to be roughly how it's going to sit. Of course the power supply will be in there as well. Hopefully this will be good enough for everybody. Okay, so here is going to be the options of testing. Of course, from left to right was the original bus bar, and the measurements are 9.2 millimeters by 1.5 millimeters thick. Uh, the next one down is uh, 6 gauge, and it is 4.1 millimeters. And the next one here is 10 gauge, and it measures 2.59. And, of course, we have the twisted sister next to it. Next one down the line is 12 gauge, and it measures 2.05 millimeters, and, of course, with its twisted sister. And down here is 14 gauge, and it measures 1.63 millimeters, and, of course, with the twisted sister. 
So the plan is to test all of these with, of course, uh, probably a few different fuses so everybody can, I guess, get a feel for what they want to use or at least have a good idea of what works with what. Okay, so that is the plan. Uh, let me know if you guys think there's something else I need to change, I guess. Uh, hopefully there isn't much to change. Uh, if you guys think I should add more thermal mass to uh, the alligator clip side, let me know. That's fine, I can do that. That's an easy fix. Of course, the next uh, person in line for fuse testing is Peter with uh, the Homebrew Powerwall. He sent me some of his fuse wire. And he's got some old and some new stuff that I'll be testing out for him, just to give him an idea of what, what it's testing. Uh, I believe he just put out a video for that, so check out his video, of course. You probably didn't know about my channel without him saying, go to my channel. So thanks a lot, Peter, uh, for sending people my way. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For more fuse testing videos, extravaganza, fuse tests with twisted sisters, I'll just add magnets to it for for for, for more. Ugh. Come on, stay up there. Uh, let me get.